Good day, everyone. I just wanted to uh, show you my uh, Polish Lavu modifications. Started off with a Polish military ponchos. I have two ponchos, size three. And uh, when you put the uh, two ponchos together, it forms a Lavu, which translates to a teepee. So what I've done is added a skirt. The skirt unsewn was 16 inches wide. Then what we did is we put a one inch seam top and bottom, giving us a skirt a total of 14 inches wide. Then what we've done is we sewed it two inches in from the edge of the lavu. And by doing that, it gives us a total of 12 inches in height. Then all the corners, we've sewn a strap that was roughly about three inches, goes two inches inside the lavu with a ring on it, and then right below that, same thing little piece of strap with a ring sewn inside so it secures the top of the lavu and the bottom of the skirt. Right there you can tell it's a size 3 by the grommet holes. Both of them are size 3. So we installed the zip all the way up and we, we sewed it here three times with the zigzag and also in there. We left all the buttons and everything on. Then, for the skirt itself, we installed Velcro. And the Velcro is exactly two inches, the length of the skirt, hook and loop. So we undo this, undo that, pull the zipper nice and easily, right to the top button before the peak. Then inside here, it's sewn in about two inches to lock her up. And then we reinstalled the uh, button. On the top, we sewed again a nice piece there of webbing on a ring. The ring's going to be used when I'm in the bush. We can anchor it to a tree or a guideline. And by doing so, eliminates the center pole. Now the center pole is now five foot seven inches high due to the 12 inch height gained by putting on this 14 inch skirt. So as you can see, this here part is the part I added to the center poles. So right from here, discluding the inch and a half part that goes inside the pole, but right from this shoulder, right to this shoulder, that whole piece right there is 12 and a quarter inches. I gave myself an extra quarter inch just for tightness. Now, from the center of the lavu, to the edge here, here, and on the other side, all four feet. So from one side of the Louvu right here, right across to here is four feet. And again, right to there is another four feet. So it's eight feet in all direction. Anybody can fit in this tent and have lots of room with their gear. You can have one person this side Another person that side with the stove and behind here also have all your wood and over on this side have your gear. Lots of room now. The flaps for the armholes right now are loose. What I'm going to do is put double stick velcro right against the tarp 
and right against the sleeve and then that way it'll be velcro closed i'm not going to cut them off i'm going to leave them on here but i'm just going to velcro them closed the armholes there and there and the two in the front i left them naturally with buttons i did not put any zippers in them yet that may be a future project at this time i left it natural for my stove, I have a winter well stove. It's a size medium, along with the section there is for uh, a heat pipe. All the way to the spark arrester. I also secured the, the pipe itself with guidelines, it has three guidelines. Just in case of heavy winds, we don't want any problems with the stoves. And it only takes a minute just to set all the guidelines up. Again, it's snowing pretty good. So the lavu is really soaking up a lot of moisture and it'll be seasoned very well once it dries. very mild out right now it's uh, sitting at plus four celsius with wet rain or wet snow As you can see, there's your height, 12 inches. You can see where the, uh, the loops are on the bottom for securing the bottom of the skirt. And again, the webbing pieces are on the top to secure the lavu itself. And it's sewn in two inches. The skirt, like I said, is a wax canvas, and it does a very, very good job. She's sagging out a bit. Oh, one of my pegs are coming out. There we go, tighten her up. So this is uh, my La Vue with its modifications. And again, it started off with two military Polish ponchos. I hope you like the uh, modifications and the little video showing my La Vue. Thanks.